about to turn into a cast. This is the carburetor. I love that the big kids wanted to join in. Yes! Elise and I are headed into the doctor's office today and it's a very exciting day because she's getting a new cast. Elise has been in this giant cast for a while. It goes all the way up over her elbow. What do you think of this cast? It's not my favorite. It's kind of heavy. Yeah. We were surprised at how heavy it was. So we're very excited. Tell them about your new cast you're getting today. My new cast is gonna be shorter about like there so I can go like that. You'll be able to move your elbow. This segment of our video is sponsored and approved by Nintendo. We just got a new Nintendo Switch game. Yeah. It is Super Mario 3D what? All-Stars. What? Super Sick Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy? So these are classic Super Mario 3D games over the years. 3D? And they put it all together into one Nintendo Switch game. That's so, so it's cool. like Mario Brothers, but putting together three different kinds. Exactly. That's so cool! Super Mario 3D All-Stars! Let's get into it. Which game are you trying? Super Mario 64. I remember as a kid when Nintendo 64 came out and it was a new thing to see Mario in 3D and so it's fun to get to experience this with my kids. Yeah. I just jumped in a painting. Of course, Battlefield. <laughs> oh no, watch out. You're not no. friendly. You got this, okay. Oh, bro that was amazing. Oh, what? Pick him up. How'd you come back? You got the star. Oh! Go get it. Woo! There we go! You yeah. got it! So they took these original games and they optimized them with higher resolution so that it's like a smoother gameplay on the Nintendo That's Switch. Awesome. Yeah. So you're feeling more excited or nervous today? More excited. More excited? Are you any nervous or not at all? Um, kind of. The first thing Elise has to do is get another x-ray just to make sure that her right wrist is healing properly. All right. Waiting for an x-ray. So Isaac, which game are you playing now? Super Mario Sunshine. It was originally on the Nintendo GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine. This thing is so cool. Ooh. Jump. <laughs> I think you oh, need to no, get no, up there. No, no. Oh! Yes. Shine. There's also an in-game music player mode where you can play the music from all three games. And you can even listen to it when the screen isn't on. You're going to the next one. How is the x-ray? Good. Do you have any questions for the doctor? If I can swim with my bath thing on. We're gonna take a farewell picture of this giant cast. So Laura is playing Super Mario Galaxy, and what's fun with this one is I can help her in co-star mode. What's happening? So Laura, Isaac's in co-star mode now, so he can direct you where to go. Get this Goomba. Oh, press Y. Y. Oh, you got him, go get that key. Yes. Super Mario 3D All-Stars is a limited release on Nintendo Switch, so it's only available until the end of March next year. Thanks again to Nintendo for sponsoring and approving this portion of our video. She's got the splint off. She's hanging here. They're cleaning her and getting her ready for the cast. It's about to turn into a cast. 
cast is wet and fresh and drying. Well, that was the best doctor's appointment ever. They did an x-ray and her bones are healing exactly as they should, so they were able to take off the giant plaster cast and put on a new fiberglass cast. They were out of the light blue color she was hoping for, but she got a green, which she's excited about. And we just have a few more weeks until we get the cast off, so we're both feeling very optimistic, and I'm just glad that she's feeling better. This broken arm has not been easy, and um, it's nice to see a light at the end of the tunnel. So we say they didn't have the light blue color. Were you pretty bummed, yeah. or are you feeling okay? Once I noticed this combination, I would rather have this than that. Really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So Elise's favorite colors are usually mint or light blue, but luckily, she loves green, and the green and black reminds you of what? Mint chocolate chip. Yum. That makes me feel hungry. Should we get a treat? Yeah. I got my um, jacket on. Is that your rain jacket? Uh huh. And it's my old one that I used to wear. You trying to catch raindrops in your mouth? Uh. Your hands dirty? Mm -hmm. Should we go wash them? Yeah. Your bathing suit? No, I call I call that rain bathing suit. Rain bathing suit. Elise and I are back from the doctor's appointment and the kids are all super excited to see her new cast. And now my dad actually found an old broken lawnmower. And we were so excited because my dad knows how to fix lawnmowers and he wants to teach the kids how to fix a lawnmower. So we're gonna be taking it apart and seeing if we can get it to work again. So somebody threw it out because it doesn't work. So let's fix it, or see if we can fix it. The first thing I'm gonna check is the oil, because what if I get it running and it doesn't have oil and it burns itself up, then it just wrecked itself. So where's the oil on this thing? Uh, right there. No? I'm here. No, it's yellow. It's yellow. Oh, right there. <laughs> Is it got oil up to the marker? Yeah. Yeah. Many, many years ago, I made some homemade nature Play-Doh and we absolutely loved it. And so I pulled up the recipe and we're gonna make it again today. And I'm letting Laura and Janae gather some supplies to play with the nature Play-Doh. We need leaves and sticks and pine cones and all sorts of outdoor goodies. This one's kind of fun. Yeah. This is something that a farmer would tuck on. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> You girls gathered some fun stuff. Shall we play with the nature Play-Doh? Yeah. Okay, first we have to make it. Can you guys help me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna start checking what it needs to run. You are a human being. You need food, you need oxygen, mm -hmm. you need certain things to work. Yeah. This little motor is not a human being, but it needs certain things to work. If those things are missing, it won't work, and it tells us where to look for the problem. An engine only needs three things to work. It needs a spark, at the right time, it needs compression, and it needs uh, the gas. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look for those three things. So we can check a couple right now. So this is the spark plug. Isaac, why don't you take that off? It just pulls off if you wiggle it. There's a big side and a smaller side. I think we go like this. Let's see what we find. It's a brand new spark plug. Wow. So somebody changed the oil and put in a brand new spark plug. Now what we need to do is hold this and we need to look for a little spark between that arm and that little center thing. And somebody pull the starter. So I steeped four tea bags, raspberry ones. So it's a nice pretty red color. And now Laura, are you gonna help me? Mm -hmm. We're gonna it add some. Perfect. Doesn't it smell amazing? Okay, now Janae's helping. She's gonna pour in the salt. That's a lot of salt. We've got all the ingredients in the pan and we have to cook it over the stove, so I'm gonna do that part, but we're letting the girls try stirring it first. Mmm, that looks kind of like sugar. Does it look like sugar? But it's salt. It looks yummy. All right, let Laura have it a turn. It's pink. It does look pink. Now the next thing we need to do is look for compression because the engine has a piston going back and forth. Yep. And you need to have enough compression to create an explosion. The way to check for this is put your finger on here and when I pull it, it'll be like Ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that works. Feeling for it pushing against your finger. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Do it again. 
So now we know it has compression and we know it has spark. So what's left that might be the problem? Yeah. Gas. How does cooking help make Play-Doh when it melts stuff? That's a good question. There's gonna be a reaction that's gonna go on in here and it's going to go from this into Play-Doh. I can feel it, it's starting to thicken on the bottom. We're making Play-Doh. Grandma's made homemade Play-Doh more than I have, so she's giving me some pointers. Oh, my arm is getting tired. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm way off course, kids. Okay. In yes. order for the gas to work, it needs air. Don't Elise, you need a 15 to 1 air to gas ratio? That's what we're it's looking for. It goes the other way. So this is the thing that filters the air before it gets to the carburetor. So we want clean air going to the carburetor. What, what's it called? An air filter. Whoa. Whoa! I'd say that's filthy. And it's so plugged, I don't think air could get through there. So what have we learned so far? This is a very bad you air need filter. Clean an air, you need to clean your air filter. Yeah, you need to have a clean <laughs> air filter. For release. That bottom piece should come off. It did what it's supposed to do. It caught the dirt. Oh! Can we clean it? Yes, we can. They're made to be cleaned. How do you think we clean it? Hose. Water. Water soap. Yep, that's plenty. And Cubby, why don't you start doing the dishes? And we just gotta let this dry. Alright. So now we're gonna take this Play-Doh. And eat it. Knead it, but it's really warm right now. Eat so it? hot. We're not gonna eat it. We're gonna knead it. Remember when you made bread before? Mm -hmm. What does knead it mean? Knead it means stir with your hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so soft. Can I feel? Do you feel how warm it is? Because it's been in the stove? Uh-huh. Okay, now we're gonna open the tea bags and put it in there and it'll be so pretty. Just gotta spread it all around. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah. And it smells amazing. I want to try kneading it. All this color Thank just you. came from the tea bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so soft and warm. I actually know how to knead because I've done it a lot. Well, let's check the gas. Whoa. Okay. Gas needs to stay clean and fresh. I just saw stuff floating in there. This is terrible. Gas. How are we going to get it out, though? Siphon hose? And I'm going to try to siphon it out. That means I'm going to create a drain that goes from here Can to here, it? and so the gas is going to come out of here. No, oh. it's just dirty. That is terrible. Mm. Dirty gas. So we're going to put some fresh gas in. Yay! Yay! Well, it made noise. It worked for a little bit. Let's see what happens. Let's see. But I think the carburetor is plugged and it can't then keep it going. We could take it apart, that's more advanced, but do you want to try it? Yeah! This is the carburetor. We're going to clean it out as best we can. It absorbs water. I couldn't clean it as well as I'd like. So there's a good chance that this won't fix it. For the kids who love learning about an engine, we weren't able to fully fix it. We have a part that we don't have here at the cabin that we'll have to pick up and work on it another time. But we're so grateful to Papa for teaching us so much. All of the kids wanted to play with the nature Play-Doh. This is a park. You made a park? Hello. How's it going? I don't know what it is. A left-handed masterpiece. Oh my goodness. This is the big girl. This is the baby big girl that's growing up. And this is mama. And this is the big girl. And this is the baby. It's a whole family at the park. Mm -hmm. Isaac's doing rock balancing with his nature Play-Doh. Oh. Caleb's building structures. Mugga just brought this little plant in. Laura, what are you building? I'm building a forest. I love that the big kids wanted to join in. I wanted to play with it because it smells amazing. It's pretty cool. <sighs> and it feels really nice and soft. 
So Laura was inspired by Elise's sculpture of a person and she made a grill of her own. It looks awesome. So tonight we are grilling for dinner. It's a pork loin filet. Pretty looks excited good. about it. Jeremy and I both have a goal to get better at grilling. We don't do it enough. We and don't, we should do it but more. we love eating things from the grill. And so we're wanting to improve our skills and kind of branch out from just like the hamburgers, hot dogs type stuff yep. and get more creative. So we're excited to work on that, which means it's time to grill. The grill's helping move the wood. Papa's chopping some wood. The girls are helping move. You're like a machine. Janae kept begging for more chicken. No matter how many times you told her, it was pork. So, hopefully we're all going to bed full. Good night, J House out. I wonder what's inside. Oh. My. Goodness. You're trying to get the butterfly to go in your hand, Elise? There's definitely a sound of something. A coyote. coyote. I'm sorry that you have a headache. The end.